What's I'm I'm the pasta tin. All these ends, why you motherfuckers got to be? All these cops dip. again, eat a box of something. I such a little watch with some rocks Show or something. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', tin? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be making a closure wig and the hair that I'm using is from Sunbird Hair. They sent me three bundles and a closure of their Brazilian straight. They sent me a 22, 24 and 26 inch and also a 20 inch closure. To start off you'll need a dome mesh cap, needles, thread, scissors and a mannequin head. Also some T-pins to secure the closure. You're gonna start off by placing the closure in the closure in the center and pinning it down with some T pins, and then you're gonna get your needle and thread and get to work. Well, we're gonna have the hair in a ponytail first and have it out of the way. The hair was too silky; it wasn't staying up, so I had to pin it towards the front. And then you're gonna go in through the weft of the end of the closure and also through the mesh of the dome cap you want to be careful not to get the needle and thread through the elastic of the dome cap you want to make sure that it's only through the mesh and not through the elastic else your wig will not fit you want to go in through the weft and also through the cap and you're gonna just keep going in and stitching it's not any particular stitch I'm literally just going through the weft of the closure and through the dome cap and out and I'm also bringing the thread in between I'm also bringing the needle in between the thread and I'm just making a knot and as I go through doing the stitch I go in and I knot as I go along you can knot it in two ways you can open the thread and put the put the needle through and that'll give you a knot you can also pull the needle through and wrap the thread around it and then pull it through and that will knot it I don't know if I'm making sense guys because I don't really know how to explain these things really well but that's what I did and I just kept stitching all the way around it's simple in and out pull through it's no crazy stitching it's nothing you know you can do whatever stitch you feel comfortable thing is like a loop method where you just go through the weft off the closure and through the mesh cap and then pull through just like what I'm doing right there and now that it's closer you can see exactly how I'm stitching it maybe just looking at it you'll understand more than how I'm explaining it to you and you're gonna stitch the closure all the way around and that's another way to knot the closure as I told you you can just wrap the thread around the needle two to three times and right there that will knot the Yes, exactly. Oh my god, I can't explain this for shit. I'm sorry. But as you see, I stitched it down and I stitched the other side down and now we only have one side remaining and you're just going to go in and do the same loop method and not as you go along just so your hair won't unravel and your wig will be secured and you're just going to keep doing that until you're finished. But guys, as it relates to sewing right by the elastic band that's in the cap be careful don't stitch the elastic band you want to just get the top part that's the little mesh part and not the elastic band because if you do the wig will not fit it won't stretch and it'll be like a total mess I've done this before and I've I have failed because I stitched my band to my closure or my frontal and then it's too tight and it won't stretch so just keep doing that as you can see just the loop method and you take your time when doing this to me the most tedious part of making the wig is stitching down the closure and then we're moving on and we're going in with the longest bundle first that is the 26 inch so what I did I pinned the hair from ear to ear all the way up to where the closure starts Doing this will definitely allow for the cap 
not to show like when the wind blows or anything you don't want to be seeing the cap so this will allow you if you want to pull the hair up at the sides in a ponytail and you're basically knotting the beginning of the track and you're not going to sew through the wefts the only time you go through the weft is at the beginning of the stitch and then when you knot it you continue doing that loop method right through and instead of going through the weft you're gonna go under the weft and through the mesh gap I hope that made sense but you're gonna keep doing the loop method and knotting as you go through you can just wrap it around once or twice and pull the needle through and the thread and you'll get a knot just like what I'm doing right there and then you're just gonna keep doing that and it's basically the same thing guys you're repeating the loop stitching all the way around until you finish sewing your track then you're gonna go in and to measure another piece of track and do the same thing throughout the whole head as I said there's two ways to knot it once you pull the needle and the needle through the weft well no once you put the needle under the weft and pull it up you can just wrap the thread around the needle and pull it through you'll get a knot or you can push the needle through the weft and open the thread and pull the needle through it that'll give you a knot I hope that makes sense guys but just keep watching what I'm doing because I don't think I'm doing a very good job at explaining but that's what I'm doing guys basically and as I said the only time that the what that you're gonna put the needle through the weft is when you start sewing a track afterwards after making that first knot you put it under the weft and not through it and then you just do the loop stitch all the way around knotting in between until you get to the end and after that you measure out your next track and pin it with a t-pin and then continue stitching it's pretty easy guys all you have to do is have a little patience and don't rush it that's all I can say just take your time and you'll be fine take your time and you'll be fine that's what the hair looks like after we've completed one bundle and as you can see when you lift the hair up there's no track showing so if you wanted to do a little ponytail you could still do it and I'm gonna go in with my second bundle and this is the 24 inch and just as I did the other bundles I'm going to pin it with my t-pins measure it out pin it and just sew just as how I sewed the other bundle and it's really just the same thing over and over guys I'm just gonna shut up now and have you watch the rest of the video <laughs> And that's what it looks like with two bundles in it's really full and no tracks are showing and that's what the stitching looks like I think it looks really neat and for the last bundle you're just gonna close up that part that we have left out so you're just gonna keep stitching and stitching until you close it up and for the last track that is right where the closure is you are gonna go in and go under the weft under the closure and under the weft and stitch the closure to the weft you're gonna do this very carefully guys because we want our closure to lay seamlessly we don't want any bulging or anything like that so you're just gonna stitch your closure to your weft and be sure to make be sure to check that it's flat and it's not bulging up and you're gonna do that all the way around until the wig is closed up Guys, making this wig was a real trip like I worked on this wig for three nights every night after I got home from work at 11 I would take an hour and stitch one bundle so it took me three nights to get all three bundles and the closure in and to complete the wig but I think it was worth it and the wig came out bomb and during the three days I broke a nail like every single night I came home I had another broken nail so that's what was happening the video wasn't done in one night guys
so that's basically it everything is nicely stitched together and looking really neat and that is it the wig is completed the second part of this video is coming up soon it will show you how I customized the closure and how I tinted the closure without bleaching it guys yes I have something to show you guys be sure to watch the second video I love you guys so much Make sure you share, like, and comment on my video and make sure you watch the second part. You're going to want to see how I customize the wig and how the finished products, product looks on my head. Bye guys. Mwah.